The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. This is what Jesus read there in the synagogue as he began his public ministry. And he said, the Spirit of God is upon me. The Holy Spirit is upon me. And he's called me to preach. And he's called me to preach to the poor. He's called me to preach to the brokenhearted. And he's called me to preach deliverance to the captives. Now, see, when I read that list, I see people who are at a path in life that is destructive. And I see a compassion from the Lord Jesus for people who are not of your great uh, um, part of society that said, yes, these are people of great prestige, which is not to say that God doesn't love all people, but a heart for those who are needy and uh, those who are dealing with situations in life and circumstances. And I remember uh, as a child, uh, there were some things going on in our family. And uh, my mother, she wrote a letter to a televangelist coming at, uh, coming out of Cincinnati. We picked it up in, in, on our television. And um, he would come on Sunday mornings and he would minister in, in, there in our living room and, and, uh, over the realm of television. And my mother was distraught of heart, and she reached out to him, and he was so kind to write her a letter, a personal letter, back in those days. I mean, this was not not a uh, one that was just a duplicate type of a form. It was a personal letter to my mother. And I'll never forget how that touched her and ministered to her. And that stuck with me through all these years as God called me back to the radio ministry. I was absent for 20 years. I started doing radio and I left the radio ministry. And after 20 years, God called me back to it. And and this was one of the things that was on my heart. Is that there are people who will hear the sound of my voice that they're, they're hurting and they're going through things in their life. And I can bring to them the word of God, and the word of God can bring comfort as it does. And I'm I'm aware of this because people send me emails, and that's that's how you communicate these days. And I get these emails from all over the world, people who are sharing their needs and their burdens with me and giving me the opportunity to pray for them. And oftentimes, I respond back to them. I, I need to be more consistent about it, but uh, uh, I do. I sit down and uh, I type them a little note back, and I tell them that I'm praying for them and that, that, that I don't take their burdens lightly. You see, Jesus had a ministry of comfort and bringing hope to people because we're living in a world that uh, is often full of despair but to know that there's hope and comfort and somebody, even a stranger, that cares, brings comfort to the heart and soul. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.